had to grow up well before you were ready to. You had to be the adult when you were still a child, really. And in some, it's not that you, you don't, you don't obviously resent this, but if you're, if you're aware enough, you will know that you've put your life on hold for all the people that you care about. You've put your life on hold for family, for friends. You've, you've put your agenda, your vision on the shelf. And, it's, and the chances are that you're even kind of proud of that unless you're awake. And if you're awake, you do feel resentful. You do feel annoyed that you had to make this choice. Hey, I'm Rosemary Noy Knight. I am the Prosperity Minister. I support you in regaining your self-confidence, in leaving behind the pain, the limiting beliefs of the past, and in rising victorious in your true design life. You deserve, and you're meant to live a free, a fulfilled, a financially abundant, a love-drenched life. But you have to claim it. You are the one that actually has to claim it. But this is the thing, you've been so conditioned, so trained to believe that you have to put your life to the behind somewhere, somewhere else, whilst putting everybody else's agenda ahead of yours. I had somebody on the, actually there were two people on the page recently um, saying something along the lines of, you know, because there was a post where I was explaining that you're not responsible for anybody else's happiness. You're not responsible for anybody else because everybody is a power in their own right. Um, and I know that for in certain cultures, you are very well trained, very well conditioned to believe that you're responsible for your siblings, you're responsible for your whole family. And you might even be listening to me right now and thinking to yourself, but yes, of course I am. And be very proud of it. I was exactly like you. So I get it. I get it. And I just said to these people, you know what? Enjoy. Because I, I know that when I wasn't ready to hear, I wasn't ready to hear. And it can sometimes feel as well when you're in that situation where you have put your, you've been grown up for too long. You know, you've been responsible for so long. You don't know how to be, you don't know how to not be responsible for the whole world, basically. Um, so I don't even bother arguing with people when they say these things or when they say, oh no, it's, it's a, you're, you're, you're teaching people to be selfish. You're teaching people to be greedy and blah, 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 blah. And they believe it. And you know what? I, I let them believe it. But I'm speaking to you. You're listening to me right now. I'm not saying that it's the easiest transition to make, not at all, because you have been well conditioned, well trained to believe that you're responsible for everybody else. You really have. But this, this is the thing I want you to understand. If you ever, if you ever want your family to elevate beyond struggle and lack, you had better find a way to pay attention to your agenda to build your vision, because the only way you're really going to be of support in the long term to your family, so that your, your children are not repeating the same thing that you are doing right now, somebody has to break this cycle. And that somebody can be you. That somebody can be you, that you decide, you know what, I get it. All these people need me. They feel as if they have no choice but to have me because you're all conditioned in exactly the same way. But if you want to break this cycle, you have to break the cycle. <laughs> and maybe I'm not saying, I don't know, maybe I'm not. Why? Why is it important? Because if not, your family is just going to keep in that same struggle cycle. So as you have done this for your siblings and for your family and all that, your children will have to do this for their siblings and then and you're all conditioning each other to live this small life. Nobody ever gets to escape this bubble. You're all in the same crazy i don't know and it's, it doesn't seem crazy to you it seems like you're being really good and being a good child and good this and that and the other but this is the thing you never even you were never even a child you were never you never had the opportunity to be a child and i'm not blaming your parents i'm not blaming anybody because when it comes down to it now you're grown up you're the one that gets to make the decision is this what i want to continue down the generations or am I ready to be the one that even though everybody thinks that I'm being selfish and I'm being horrible, I'm being whatever, that I will break this cycle and you start using my time, my finance to build a bigger, more expansive life that then everyone can enjoy. If you want to, you know, I'm not saying that you build this for your family. I'm saying build it for you, but in doing it for you, everybody gets to benefit. But at the moment, whilst you're all, it's like the blind leading the blind. So maybe you, you just, it's just like I became a pharmacist 
And so there was this expectation that I'm now supposed to, you know, start handing out cash here, then everywhere, and look after this person, that person, and the other person, because now I'm blessed to be the best. I, I tried for a little bit, a little bit. Thankfully, I, I woke up a lot sooner than a lot of you have. And, um, and I, to this day, there, there's still some regret in me that I spent so long putting my agenda on hold when really I could have, in younger years, progressed my business, progressed my vision to a bigger, better place, and then been able to support whoever I wanted to support without it actually affecting my life if I, I, I how do I, how, I, how can I get this across to you? Because the conditioning is so deep with some of you that you really think that the way you were trained, the way you were conditioned to think is the only way to think. So you might be listening to me just like I used to listen to people trying to tell me that I'm not responsible for everyone. I used to think that they're just selfish. They don't understand how to build relationships. They don't understand this nonsense nonsense it, but i didn't know it was nonsense at that point let me tell you something every single person is a god unit just the same as you and i get it when you look at them from their physical perspective you're thinking if i don't do this who will do it how will they survive how will this until you break free and allow yourself to create that bigger vision that you're actually born to create your family will just always be just on the edge of survival. Is that really all you want for yourself and for your family? You are meant for more, but whilst you continue to buy into certain lies of culture, of tradition, of religion, of the, the way your community is set out, you all remain in this bubble where you think that the only way to survive is the way all of you have been doing it for years and years and years and nobody ever really, ever really properly progresses. Ever. You're always just above the survival line. Always. But, but you know, you're blessed to be a blessing. So you just keep doing this stuff and staying trapped at this level when you are born for something so much more. You don't claim, you don't, you don't, you don't speak of that resentment inside of you. And in fact, when you notice it, when you notice the anger and the resentment inside of you, you just push it right down because you're such a good person and you're so nice and you're so kind. I'm not pretending that the transition out of living like that is going to be easy. No, oh, you're going to have people telling you all kinds of things about you. They're going to say all kinds of stuff about you. They're going to try and guilt you and manipulate you back into place. Are you strong enough? to recognize the, the big vision here that you're, you, you first and your whole family, because you're that person, you will take people with you, but you can't take them with you when you haven't got there yourself. That's the thing. You, you, you got to one kind of level that was slightly above everybody else. And you think now that you should now be trying to, that, that just traps you at just, just above survival. You don't allow yourself to thrive. Don't you understand that when you thrive, they will all thrive too. But you have to be able to see that when everybody is trying to tell you, no, 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 this is, you should be, you should feel, you should feel guilty for not looking after us. You shouldn't, you should wake up, honey, wake up. Everybody's powerful in their own right. They will not die without you. They will not die without you. But your dreams will die without you. Your vision will die without you. That big hope you have for your family will die without you paying big attention to it. Instead of always being responsive for all of these little urgent things that are always pulling on you, always, always, always pulling on you. She can never really truly progress. Anyway, I've talked enough here. For those with ears, let them hear. For you that cannot hear yet, in time. Maybe you will hear, maybe you won't. Maybe you'll go to the grave with your music still in you, telling yourself some story of, at least I was a good guy, that day, or good girl. I, I helped all my siblings. Yeah, they're all just above poverty too. <laughs> Basically, yay! You did something good there. <laughs> Not, I'm sorry. I'm just being blunt with some of y'all. Because some of you get trapped in this cultural craziness. You never had the opportunity to be a child yourself. You were conditioned from birth to just take care of everybody and never really look into your own life. Wake up. I got this book for you. I wrote it for you guys. 
It's a conf confidence book. Go and get it. Do something for yourself for a change. Go and get the book, okay? There'll be a link around this video. Go and get the book. It's time for you to regain your self-confidence, to remember who the frick you are and start living out of the, the truth of the divinity that you are rather than just this human, I don't know, I don't know, people just manipulate you any old how and you just think it's normal. Wake up. Wake up. When you start living your true design, everybody prospers. Wake up. Until the next time, my love, get the book. Share this video with somebody else. Much amazing love. Bye.